Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I'm actually really excited about this one because we're just going to sit back, relax. I'm going to tell you guys about my entire Sephora sale VIP recommendations and my ultimate Sephora wish list. I know I'm kind of early. Usually I like to put this video out like right before the sale starts, but I'm just excited and I want to keep adding stuff to my list. So we're just going to do it the video early. <laughs> So just so you guys know, starting on the 27th, we do have the Rouge Shale. That's going to start from the 27th through November 6th. And that's going to save you guys 20% off. Then on October 31st through November 6th, if you are a VIP member, you will save 15% off. And starting on that same day, October 31st, if you are an insider member, you guys will save 10% off. And during that entire time, Sephora is doing 30% off the Sephora collection. I think these sales are always so much fun. So we're going to go ahead and dive straight on in. So we're going to start with primers. I do three primers sitting in front of me. One I have talked about before, but I have to talk about again. So up first, we do have the Milk Makeup. This is a pore eclipsing mattifying primer. This is a holy grail for me. I wear this pretty much every single day. I cannot go without it. This bad boy is empty. It is empty. I do have to buy another one because I go through this like there's no tomorrow because I genuinely really do love this product. If you have oily skin, this is going to be for you. And I want to go ahead and preface this video and say right now, I'm going to go ahead and preface in this video that I have very, very oily skin. So I'm going to be making recommendations for oily skin. I don't have any recommendations for dry skin. I am so sorry. I don't know what works best for you because I am so oily. I tend to not really look at those products. Plus there's not really that many products that come out for oily skin anymore. I feel like, I feel like we're just kind of like thought it like forgot about but we do have the pore eclipse mattifying primer this is absolutely amazing next we do have the one size this is the secure the sweat primer i absolutely hated this primer when i first tried it out i thought it was horrible it peeled my foundation i was like this sucks and it didn't do anything for my oil but then you guys convinced me to try it again and this is actually kind of what kicked off my repurchase or trash series is this item and the next item i'm going to talk about because i talked a lot of shit about it i said i hated it and you guys were like give it another go try it again, do it this way. And I was like, let me take your guys's opinion. And I'm so, so glad that I did because now I put this on about five to six minutes before any makeup application and it lays down really beautifully. I don't deal with any sort of peeling on my face whatsoever. It really, really helps to lock in that oil and make my makeup last as long as possible. Is it foolproof? No. Do I still get oily? Yes, but it really does a great job at making it look like a glow more than like a grease ball on my face. So I would highly recommend this if you do have really oily skin. And the last product I want to talk about is this bad boy right here. This is the Glow Recipe Strawberry Pore Drops right here. This is the serum. I put this on before I put on any sort of primer or foundation. I literally have to go buy a new one. This is pretty much empty and this has been a godsend to me. Now, it doesn't do shit to my pores, okay? It does not do shit to my pores, but my God, does it help the longevity of my makeup? I hated this when I tried this. I tried this several times before I generally started to like it. I did a TikTok video on it. I did a reel on it. I did a YouTube short and I, oh my gosh, it's pouring rain. <laughs> I got a lot of hate on my TikTok for this. Not in a way like people are going, you suck, but a lot of people saw how large my pores truly are because I don't use beauty filters. I show my skin exactly how it's meant to be shown because I don't believe in hiding your flaws. I believe in embracing them. I believe that whenever you do a beauty review, you should be completely honest and show the truth because everybody has skin texture. People have pores, people have imperfections and discoloration, and you should be proud of it. You should show it because it is the truth. So I showed my pores in that video on TikTok and oh, the amount of people that called me out on how ugly my pores are and we're saying kind of mean things. This is like, this is why I don't really post on TikTok because people are just mean. But regardless, I really did fall in love with this product. It doesn't do, like I said, it doesn't do anything to minimize the appearance of my pores, but it does a fantastic job at really kind of locking in my moisturizer and making like a really matte base. So mixing this with my um, milk makeup or my secure the blur is just phenomenal because I really can go about 10 hours before I really start to see any greasiness and any oiliness coming through. This is a godsend. Now moving on to foundations. So I talked about this foundation before. I am going to pick this up during the sale, but we do have the Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Foundation. 
I don't know what it is about this foundation, but this is completely empty. I've really enjoyed this foundation. I feel like it does a, it has a full coverage. It doesn't break apart whenever my oil does start to seep through. It just lasts me all day. It's really pretty on the skin. It works really well with all the different type of primers I've tried, any setting powders, concealers. It just mixes very well with all those products. I've never had any issues with this. It's not my absolute favorite foundation, but it's a it's a it's good enough to make me go, wow, I really want to buy this again. And that says a lot because I do have a lot of foundations behind me and I've really gravitated towards drugstore foundations as of recently so this making me want to buy it again I think it says a lot about it because I just really have enjoyed playing with this foundation I'm enjoying the longevity of this foundation and I just think it's absolutely worth it then we do have the two Lancome Tinted Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. I actually wore this during my photo shoot with Over Cosmetics when I had my collab come out. I'm actually wearing it on my face right now. This is a beautiful foundation. I do have to mix two shades together. I do mix the shades um, 310N and 305N just because I'm trying to get that perfect combination for me. And this is beautiful. It goes on so seamlessly. It lasts me a very, very long time. And when I do get oily, it's just going to be in my T-zone and it doesn't break up. I can literally just take blotting paper or my setting powder and I can retouch up my face and it doesn't break up the foundation. And I'm beyond grateful for that because so many products out there do break it up or does split up and or do break apart or does disappear off my nose. This holds on for a very long time. It's a very, very beautiful foundation and I'm still beyond grateful that Lancome sent this to me because that's something that like doesn't ever happen and I've genuinely really enjoyed this so I thought that was really nice okay moving on to concealer I only have one concealer that I tried this year from Sephora because I do kind of mix Sephora and Ulta together like I almost talked about the Smashbox foundation but that's going to be saved for another video because I realized that it's not sold at Sephora but for concealer we do actually have the Makeup by Mario this is his serum concealer I actually really enjoy this concealer and I think that says a lot because if you guys don't know and I'm pretty sure I made it very vocal I actually find concealers to be my least favorite makeup product I don't ever get excited about concealers I never care to go out and buy every single new one because I'm just kind of like Ugh, it's a concealer I just don't find the excitement over it the way that other people do and hey to each their own I just don't find excitement but I really found myself really enjoying this concealer it is full coverage it's very lightweight on the skin it blends out very effortlessly I don't notice any crack cracking or caking or building up any fine lines that I do have under my eyes it's just a really beautiful concealer I've been using it non-stop so I would definitely want to repurchase this during the sale moving on to bronzers we do have two bronzers sitting in front of me the first one we do have is the milk makeup this is the little bronzer stick right here they did send me this over this year in PR and this is so freaking nice the only thing I didn't like about this particular like product is that these break so easily because they're so creamy and buttery so whenever I take off the plastic lid the top of it came off with it so you can really kind of twist it and slowly pop it off but I love the consistency of this I love how easy it is to blend on the skin oh my gosh it is so effortless to blend on the skin it lasts you all day it doesn't like cause any like weird lines on your face it just blends and melts beautifully into the skin it's a really beautiful felt formula i no wonder why this is always like a top seller for milk makeup because it truly is that me that amazing the last bronzer we have is the lys bronzer stick right here this thing she is a uh, she's well loved and she is definitely going to be repurchased and the reason being is that this bad boy right here oh my god I hated it I hated it when I first tried it I was like what is it doing to my skin I didn't blend it out properly it was a weird color match and you guys were like oh my god go check out this person's channel they had the same situation and a lot of you guys were saying try it again try it again try it again because I didn't know that when I got this I got it like in a chic beauty box or something this was going viral all over TikTok and you guys were like Allie give it another go I put it in that repurchase or trash series I tried it again and now I can't live without it now I can't live without it so what I'm wearing my face today it is so easy to blend it is the most creamiest con is the most creamiest bronzer stick contour stick i have ever ever come across you literally just put a little bit on your face you blend it out it's so seamless it just melts i mean like literally just melts straight into the skin and it has such a beautiful bronzy glow to it i will definitely recommend this to anybody it's one of my favorite bronzers that we have out there that's in a liquid form because i do prefer my mark jacobs in the power form but this is just stunning i would 100 percent repurchase this over and over and over again and it's always sold out it is always sold out i cannot find it in stores Whenever I do look online, a lot of times I can find it, but a lot of times I can't find it. It sells out like crazy, so I do recommend this. Setting powders. I actually do three setting powders sitting in front of me today. Like I said, this is kind of more, more of a shorter video because I didn't try as much high in this year. But we do have up first the One Size Beauty. This is the translucent setting powder. I did a whole video where I battled milk makeup versus one size, and it's really hard for me to tell you guys which one I thought was the better 
um, brand because I love them both equally, but this is phenomenal. This is great if you have really oily skin. It doesn't do much to hide my texture or my large pores, but it really does help to lock in that makeup and I can mix this with other setting powders to give the blurring mattifying effect that I want. But just to wear this on its own, it's really beautiful. I do tend to wear this by itself. Whenever I'm just putting on like my serum, my Glow Recipe Dew Drops, and I just want to have a matte face, I put this on on top of it, kind of lock it in, and then I go about my day without having to put on any other makeup and this just really holds it well. I freaking love the setting powder. Next, this was a big purchase for me and I will 110% repurchase this during the sale because that's how much it costs. It's $110 and it is absolutely worth it. But I took a chance last year during the sale and I picked up La Mer, the powder. I have heard amazing things about this powder. As you guys can see, don't really have much left. You guys did um, surprise me during like a live stream like two months ago and donated to the La Mer powder fund, which I did save by the way, because I do tend to repurchase this during the VIP sale because this powder is just so beautiful. She is expensive. Oh my gosh, is she expensive. But the way that she just blends onto the face, it's so blurring and it's so soft. It looks like you have an airbrush finished. It's not fully the best for oily skin. I do get a little bit oily whenever I do wear the setting powder. My oil will start to come through within like five to six hours, but it just looks like not horrible. It looks a little oily, but it's not horrible. It doesn't like, it looks more like I'm just like more glowy and sprayed and mist on my face and anything, but I just freaking love this powder. I will 100% repurchase this. It is just so beautiful on the skin. I can see why it's worth the price point. I fell in love with it this past year. I did not want to, by the way, because I was like, ah, I don't know what made me buy this last year, but I was like, I just want to try it. I see everybody brave about this damn setting powder. So I had to try it myself. And I'm mad at myself for trying it because I fell in love with it and now I'm going to repurchase it. And that's probably going to be the, re the most expensive thing I've repurchased during the sale. And then last but not least for setting powders, we do have the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipsing Mattifying Setting Powder right here. I actually just recently talked about this in a video. You'll also see it coming up in a repurchase or trash series. I do really enjoy this setting powder. This setting powder is really nice. I am still testing it out against other products I am wearing on my face today to keep trying it out. It's a really pretty setting powder. It truly is. I just feel, based on what I've been trying, it doesn't have as much of a longevity as like the One Size Beauty does. I do get oily whenever I wear this, which is a little disappointing because like their setting spray and their primers are freaking phenomenal. So I really expected the setting powder to do the same thing. It did not, but I still love the way it looks on my skin because it does help to blur the appearance of my large pores and it does help to mattify my skin for quite some time before I do get oily. But she's still in the process of being tested out. So you guys will see my final thoughts on this at the end of October. Moving on to blush. I do, have some, I do have four blushes sitting in front of me. So the first blush we have is actually from Merit Beauty. This was gifted to me in PR and this is a like cheek st stick situation. And I typically never go for these type of products. I tend to not like these type of products, but putting this on a, bl on a brush, oh my God, the way it just like blends into the skin, it's just so seamless. It just like melts in. It's a perfect color for me. This is in the shade called Cheeky. I love this product. I have used it so much and I feel like a little does go a long way with this. I feel like this is gonna last me quite like for quite some time. And I just feel like Merit Beauty did a really good job with this. It's a clean makeup product. So if you do like clean makeup, this is definitely going to be for you. A little goes a long way. It's a beautiful color and just melts beautifully into the skin. Then we do have the Dior. This is the Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. Let me tell you, this little fucker right here cost me $40, okay? This little thing right here cost me $40. And I was talking shit about myself, being like, how could you do this? How could you spend $40 on this? I literally look at it all the time going, why did you buy that? It's $40. But then I try it and I'm like, ah, that's why you bought it. Because it is just beautiful on the skin. The way that it just melts and it just blends so seamlessly. It looks airbrushed on the skin and it has a nice, a nice soft pinky glow. It's beautiful. You can keep this very light or you could definitely build it up. And I like to keep it very light just to give you subtle pinky tint. And I just am obsessed with how this product truly is. That to me, it is, it's worth $40. It is worth $40. And I'm mad at myself every time I look at it because I'm like, I spent $40 on this tiny little blush. I never really would. The old alley would be screaming at me, but I do enjoy it and I do think it's worth it. So if you ever wanna try this, trust it for me who's very frugal and doesn't wanna spend money like this on makeup, try it, it's good. 
Then we do have the one size. This is the 3D face clapper right here. You're going to have three different blush products. You're gonna have a cream, a powder, and a highlight. And this is the shade um, called Attention Seeker. This one viral all over TikTok. You could not find this blush anywhere. It is now fully back in stock, and I absolutely love this. A little bit of this goes a long way. I like to take the powder foundation, then put a little bit of the cream on top. For some reason, the way it just melts into it is beautiful. Then you do that pink highlighter, which I do not use as much because I'm not the biggest fan of pink highlighters, but these two combination just creates a beautiful effortless pinky glow in the face and it's just a really beautiful product Patrick Star did a really wonderful job with this I see why it went viral and if you ever wanted to try it out, I think it's absolutely worth it. Moving on to highlighters. The only highlighter that I tried that's high in this year is the Dior. This is the um, Backstage Glow Face Palette. This is in the shade called Universal. I mix these three shades together. It's actually what I'm wearing my face right now. I really do enjoy this powder. I've seen so many people talk about this damn highlighter palette on TikTok for so long. And I finally had a chance to pick it up because it was finally in stock and I have no regrets. I have no regrets. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter formula. It goes on very effortlessly. It has a little bit of like a glitter reflect, so it doesn't have like that big mega shine where it's super wet, but it's more just like a nice little soft glitter where it's going to last you all day. It's very, very beautiful. You can build it up, you can build it down. I like to keep mine more simple, something that I could wear every day and not be too intense, but it's well worth it. Moving on to eyes, I only have two products to talk to you guys about today that I recommend for the eye products to pick up during the sale. The first one being the stinky Natasha Denona Yucca Palette or uh, the Yucca Palette. This, when I first bought it, smelled horrible. The smell has definitely kind of dissipated but still slightly there. This to me is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I really do love Natasha Denona formulas. They are absolutely fantastic. And I highly recommend picking this up during the sale. It's a beautiful color story. This is going to be ranked in the best of 2023. I already know it's going to be because I love the way the formula is. I love the color scheme of this. This is such a stunning palette. I think Natasha Denona did a very good job with this. I highly recommend checking this out during the sale. All right, then last but not least for the palettes, we do have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. This is such a gorgeous, cool tone, neutral palette. If you guys love cool tone, if you guys love Natasha Denona, if you love neutral, this is going to be the palette for you. And what a better way to pick it up than during the sale where you guys can save up to 20% off. Absolutely worth it in my opinion. It's so easy. You can wear this every single day. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. You could do so much with this palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend checking it out during the sale. Last but not least for the makeup section, we do two setting sprays right here. So the first one is the Milk Makeup. This is the pore clips mattifying setting spray this setting spray is phenomenal i am gonna have to pick up a new one because my little like sprayer right here is now coming out as like a strong mist instead of it being like so misty and effortless now it's coming out as like a little jet stream that hits me in the face but oh my god is it amazing it really does lock in that makeup helps to control shine all day and i love mixing it really really well with this next product which is the one size setting spray this is my holy grail setting spray Holy Grail setting spray. It goes on like hairspray. It feels like a damn hairspray on your face. It smells like hairspray. This shit makes your face yeah, have to do like that to break it apart. But if you have oily skin, this is your absolute best friend. Now what's really making me mad is that this recently has gone viral all over TikTok all over TikTok. People are saying they hate it, but people are also saying they love it and a freaking sold out. It has been sold like it's sold out. And I'm like, don't buy this if you don't have oily skin, okay? Us oily skin people, we need this because it truly is for us. And a lot of people are buying it, selling it out. So if you do see this, please grab it. If you wanna have your makeup last you all day, I'm telling you, it's absolutely worth it. You will thank me later for it. Okay, so moving on to skincare. I don't have as much skincare to talk about because I'm still trying out different skincare right now. And some of the skincare I do really love it doesn't, isn't being made anymore. And they're also not sold at Sephora. So we're gonna talk about what I do have. So up first, we do have the Coors. This is the Foaming Cream Cleanser. I recently tried this this past year. I don't have it anymore. I did run out of it and then I did fall in love with a different cleanser, but I would still absolutely go pick this up during the sale. It's a Greek yogurt cleanser. Manny MUA actually recommended it to me. I fell in love with it. It's absolutely fantastic and I definitely will be picking this up during the sale. We do have some products from Marad. Marad has been so sweet and kind to me. This is some backup products that I have because the rest are actually sitting in my shower, but I really do love the oil and pore control mattifying broad spectrum. I actually tend to wear this by itself. Putting it under makeup, I do tend to get pretty oily with this because it 
does have SPF in it. And for some reason, SPF tends to make me a little bit more oilier than normal. I don't know why. So I do tend to wear, I do tend to wear this by my, by itself when I'm just doing a no makeup day, which is actually all the time. This is fantastic for helping to minimize the appearance of my pores and control the oil. And I really do appreciate that. We also have some height. We also have the moisturizer cream, the eye cream, the refreshing cleanser, and like the clarifying water gel. These are all phenomenal products from Marad. I really do love them. They're great for sensitive skin. They're great for oily skin. They're great for large pores and any sort of problematic skin you may have. Marad really does have a broad range of their of their products that help to cater to so many different skin types out there. And I thoroughly do enjoy them. So anything from Marad, I do recommend checking out during the sale. Next, we do have the Glow Recipe. This is the Plum Plum Hyaluronic serum I surprisingly put this on only in the morning and this is a great serum to start off your like the, the day it really does help to plump and hydrate the skin and even though I'm super oily I am all about hydration because I'm trying to help my skin not produce as much oil so I do help it a lot by putting on really hydrating moisturizers and hydrating serums to really help to boost that hydration so my skin can stop producing as much oil and I feel like it definitely has helped this is gonna this is my second bottle that I have I am I do have a third one down below because I do actually go my purchases every time I run out because this is just just truly really good for plumping the skin and getting that hydration going and getting it ready for the next product. Next, we do have the Lancome. This is the Advanced Genifique. This is a concentrate. This is a youth activating concentrate. This is like a serum and I'm actually almost out. I'm down to this much. This is like a hundred and something dollars. This was gifted to me by Lancome and <laughs> oh, I would rebuy this. I would rebuy this. I use very, very little of this because I know how expensive this is, but I feel like this has made a huge, huge difference in my skin and I felt more comfortable in my skin as of recently since using this product. That's why when I went to Disney with the girls, I went bare face because I genuinely have been loving how my skin looks. My skin has just been eating this up and I really felt that it helped to revitalize my skin, look a little bit more youthful, a little bit more elastic, and it's just... It's really good. I really enjoy it. Next, I do recommend the Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant, especially for someone like me who does have very large pores. This is empty. I did save it specifically for this video because I do want to go buy the full size. This really just helps to get into those large pores, clean them out, and really help to keep your face nice and clean and blemish-free. I don't use it all the time because it does have salicylic acid in it, but I do use it like three times a week, and I just really do love this. I really do love this product. And then last but not least, I think for the skincare, because like I said, the rest is not sold as before but we do have the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the magic cream and that this is my only one I have left. The other ones I have, I've completely run out with them. I buy them every year and they are always gifted to me by amazing friends because I know how much I love this water, this magic cream. It truly is like a magic cream. It is so moisturizing. It smells amazing. And I just found out recently they have a water cream version of this. And I 100% want to try out the water cream, especially because like I love the Tatcha water cream that I used to have as a moisturizer. But again, I did run out of that. I would love to repurchase that because both those water creams are perfect for oily skin. And I just want to try them out. So if I love this version, I can only imagine how like the water cream version is. Okay. So next for hair, I just have one hair product and that is the um, living proof perfect hair dry shampoo this is amazing it smells amazing it really does help to cleanse the hair this has been my holy grail this past year and i do repurchase this all the time my husband knows exactly what this is now because whenever he runs the store he does tend to pick this up for me because they do also sell it at ulta and whenever at target i just go and grab a bottle this just lasts you for so long it smells incredible and it really really helps to just really, re it helps to bring life back to the hair. It makes your hair feel nice and clean. It helps to really remove the excessive oil and dirt that's in your hair. Sometimes it can leave a white cast, depending on how lazy you are, me, you'll see a white cast in it, but I really do love that product. This last recommendation is for perfumes. Now I do have three Lancome perfumes sitting in front of me. These smell amazing. These were gifted to me in PR, which is still like the craziest thing because it's like Lancome and these perfumes are so freaking expensive, but they smell absolutely amazing. And oh my God, they will last you all day and they make me feel like whenever I wear them like I am part of the rich people skin club even though I'm not it just makes me feel like that but what I really do enjoy and this is kind of TMI but like I don't care because we're friends and we all do it but like I will spray this on my shirt or like my sweater wear it all day and then the next day I will re-put back on that sweater or the shirt because I'm not going out what do I care and the way that the smell is still lingering on but it just smells like better it's almost as if it like aged like fine wine it just smells better i absolutely love this so this is something that, that can last you for quite some time because even when i spray it on myself 
and I put my like I put my sweater like in the closet. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna wear this. I'm just staying home today. It still smells just as good. My husband is obsessed with these perfumes, and I so I highly recommend checking them out during the sale because I think they're absolutely worth it. So. Those are all my recommendations for this year's Sephora VIP sale. Like I said, I didn't have as much as I typically do because I tried more drugstore than high end, but I definitely would like to still kind of branch out and try more high end coming up. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into my wish list. Now for face primer, I only have one face primer that I have on my wish list, and I don't even know if this is gonna work for me, but I've just seen everybody talk about it, but it is from Refi. It's the Glow and Sculpt Face Serum Primer with Niacinamide. Now, Niacinamide is really good for someone like me who does have very large pores. It's fantastic for the pores. I've seen everybody talk about this primer, but I have never tried it. I don't know if it's really meant for my skin type. I mean, it is supposed to have a radiant finish and hydrating. I still kind of want to try it, but that is on my wish list to try. So there is just the one primer. For foundation, I really want to try the Sephora collection. This is the best skin ever liquid foundation. I have seen Paige talk about this foundation so much, and I really just kind of want to try it. I know that's going to be 30% off during the sale, so it's something I would like to pick up try. She does have oily skin like myself, but I feel like I have more oilier skin and yet she somehow is able to make it work for her. She does have a little bit of a glow, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about this particular foundation. So something I definitely would want to pick up during the sale. Then, and I said this last year, but I never got it, but we do have the LYS St. Laurent All Hours Luminous Natural Matte Foundation, 24 hours long wear, SPF 30 with hyaluronic acid. That is such a freaking long ass name. At some point, I really like to try this foundation. I love trying high-end foundation that says that it's matte because I really like putting it to the test. So I'm really curious to see how this product is. Would it actually work? And it's been on my wish list for the last two years. I've never gotten it. So maybe this time I will but we'll see. I also have the House Labs by Lady Gaga, the Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented Arnica. I do have this on my wish list as well because I've heard people talk about this foundation. I kind of want to try it. I don't know how good it would be, but it's something I am interested in. It did come out, I think, sometime last year. I never got a chance to try it. So maybe something I would pick up. I'm not entirely sure, but it is on my wish list. Next, for concealers, I actually have two concealers that I want to try out. It's the LYS St. Laurent All Hours Creaseless Precise Angle Concealer, along with the Gucci Concentrate Crease Proof and Hydrating Concealer. I've heard amazing things about these two concealers. I definitely would be interested in trying them out. Why? I don't know, but I've heard amazing things. I have a little bit of FOMO, so I feel like I should. So those two are on my wish list, along with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Buildable Coverage Found Creaseless Found um, Concealer. I got that concealer last year. I fell so hard in love with it, but all of my Huda Beauty concealers that I had all ended up um, getting everywhere. It's like the product was seeping out of the cap, and I don't know what happened. It's like the seal broke. So whenever I go into my collection, there'd just be concealer everywhere because my concealer would not shut from this product. So I definitely would like to pick it up again because I know how amazing that concealer was, but it definitely is on my wish list. Surprisingly, I don't like have any bronzers at all, but I do have the new Patrick Ta Major Dimension um, Holiday Palette. It actually, I actually did just purchase it this morning because whenever I go to check it out, it's just never there. It's only saying that it's sold out. And I saw it available this morning, so I did pick it up. That wasn't my wish list, but I just crossed it out. I do wanna try that. Along with the Patrick Ta eyeshadow toppers, I cannot find those. I really wanna try those eyeshadow toppers. I cannot find them. They are on my ultimate wish list because I really, really, really wanna try those eye toppers. They look really beautiful. I love everything and anything Patrick Ta, so I'd love to get my hands on those. The Rare Beauty, I really wanna try the Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter. Um, I haven't really got a chance to try much on this brand. I would like to try like their cheek products, like their cheek blushes, their lip products, their highlighters. I've barely tried anything from this brand. So I think Rare Beauty as a whole is kind of on my wish list to try out this year. Maybe I can pick up a couple products and try it out. We'll see. I know I was not a big fan of the concealer. I was not a big fan of the primer. And I was not a big fan of the setting powder or the foundation. But like everything else, like the bronzer I loved. I want to try the highlighter, the lip products, and the cheek products. But I hated their eyeshadows. So like it's like a mix. It's like a love-hate relationship. But I want to try some more stuff in this brand because it does look really fascinating to me. For palettes, I think the only palette that's on my wish list this year because I do tend to buy the palettes if I want them is the Janessa Myricks Beauty. This is the Lightwork Volume 5 palette. It says I am for eyes and face. This looks absolutely beautiful. I do love my Volume 4 Lightwork palette. It's $125. She's very, very expensive for what she is. But it's something I really would like to try out. So that's on my wish list. So 
next, moving on to skincare. So I do have some skincare products that I definitely want to try out on my wish list. I want to try out anything from La Mer. I really enjoyed some of the products I tried when Paige allowed me to when I was at her house. And I really fell in love with like um, the La Mer products there. So they have like a cleansing gel. They have a treatment lotion. They have the moisturizing cream, which, oh my God, so expensive. They have a cleansing foam. They have so many things on there. The eye concentrated cream that I really want to try anything from La Mer. Am I going to buy it during the sale? Probably not because La Mer is just way too much out of my price point, but it's something that I would absolutely just one day love to try because I really have enjoyed um, like the little mini stuff that I have. I've tried some of these and these have been amazing. So I just want to try like an actual like high-end version of it, like the big version. Next, I would really like to try Tatcha. This is the Deep Cleanse Gentle Exfoliating, Exfoliating Cleanser. I would like to put that on my wish list. I really do love Tatcha, so I'd want to put that on my wish list. I'd want to put like the water cream on my wish list. I'd also want to add Claudelie. This is the like pore, 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 um, pore purifying gel cleanser. I really did enjoy the Claudelie, I keep messing up the name, like pore mask I tried last year. I'd like to put that on my wish list. I'd also like to add, like I said, the bigger version of the Polish Choice on there. To add, like I said, the Charlotte Tilbury like water cream of the Magic Cream as well. So those are all like the skincare products. I think I'll have more of like an in-depth list listed down below. I'm not going to go too crazy with it because in reality, um, a lot of that stuff is really expensive and I'm kind of on a budget. So we'll see what I end up actually picking up, but it'd be kind of cool maybe just to get like kind of like the value sets. Cause sometimes these are available in like value sets and gift sets during the sale, which would be smaller versions like this, but it's a great way for me to try out the product without breaking the bank at the same time. Okay. So last but not least, we do have, um, perfumes. So I do have a few perfumes that I really want to put on my wish list. Like we do have the, um, Victorian Roth. This is the flower bomb perfume. It is my absolute favorite. It smells amazing. It's really expensive. It's why I don't really pick it up that often because it is super expensive, but oh my gosh, I really would like to pick that up. We do have Kay Alley. I do want to try some perfumes from Kay Alley. I've always heard amazing things about them. I have smelled them in store. They smell phenomenal, but they tend to be out of my price points. That's why I don't ever pick them up, but one day I will one day. And then lastly, we do have clean reserve. I've seen people talk about this clean reserve, like sparkling sugar for so long. I, Jacqueline has talked about it nonstop. I kind of want to try it. it. Smells, I feel like it would smell good, but I feel like I have to go in person to try, but those are all my wish list items. I feel like I left a lot out because in reality, I feel like this video is getting kind of long and I have so much I could add to my wish list. So much like skincare products, makeup products, fragrance products, things I really want to try and pick up. We'll see what I actually end up picking up during the sale. Like I said, it does start on October 27th and runs all the way through November 6th, but I just kind of want to sit back, relax, tell you guys about my, rec about my recommendations, what I recommend you guys checking out during the sale and also give you guys my wish list to see maybe if this is what I want. It's the same thing you guys want. See if I actually get them during the sale we shall see but yeah guys that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thums up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post almost every day in the month of vlogging i realized i forgot to say that earlier today i'm so sorry <laughs> make sure you guys head over to my other channels r for the life you guys get to see my cool wonderful ventures my amazing husband Corey. and as always the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful wonderful page members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video